A director of the City of Jackson Parks, Recreation, Cemeteries, and Grounds, Kelly Hoover. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Hi, good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome Hi. back. Thank you so much. Glad to be here. I, I was out of town Saturday morning, so I, I, was, I missed the uh, People for the Parks and Trails yes. cleanup at uh, Grover Leak Park. How'd that go? Went really well. Andrew and uh, Aaron Dimmick and the group were out, and uh, it looks beautiful. So helpful, um, and it's so great to have a relationship with the volunteer group. We have volunteers that come in from different communities, like Consumers Energy is getting ready for a big uh, event day too. And it's so great to work uh, with different groups in the park system and just that, you know, like to be a part of it, be out there, and it makes a big difference for the community. Yeah, really, you've got how many, 30 parks? To 27 city parks, <laughs> yeah, 30, 35. But so we have 27 city parks, and you know, and, uh, we're also in charge of the uh, Woodland and Mount Evergreen cemeteries. Uh, in the downtown, and so it's busy. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, grounds to cover. Mm -hmm. We've got news today that you yeah. released Nixon Park. Yes, yeah, we're hoping to get it open and running by June uh, 20th so we can get the pool going. I think people will be really happy. Um, we had a lot of people call last year. Oh, there she is, the, the wonderful Nixon Park. Um, and so we're excited. Uh, we're optimistic uh, everything will reboot and start up and and uh, be a good summer out there i remember some very hot days last summer everyone was wishing the pool was open yeah. luckily we have a lot of lakes people right. can jump in yeah but um this is um sorely missed when it's not open i think so and, and a lot of people in the community a lot of um, we do get a lot of day trip people that come from like daycares or the ymca and different places they come and use the pool also during the summer. It's not just individual use. Uh, so I think it was a highly missed uh, asset over the last couple of years. The potential for uh, opening last year, it was like almost, almost, but then you got ran into some other issues besides COVID. Well, there's been, you know, COVID one has changed a lot of things for us. Uh, and then financially, it was kind of a, a worry about how we were gonna do things. Um, when you know the city tax base changes and, and what that looks like overall and mm -hmm. uh, it really COVID kept us right on the edge of you know what the effort is to open that pool is very very large and it's a very big undertaking to open that pool it doesn't seem like it but it's a huge undertaking maintenance wise mm -hmm. um, and to go into all that depth you would have to fill the pool in order to make sure the pumps work and be inspected if we did all that work and then we weren't able to open because of COVID, you know, so it just wasn't financially the right thing to do. It was mm -hmm. type at your home, you wouldn't do it at your home either because it wouldn't be the right thing to do. One of the things that we're super excited about is we're bringing back the concession stand this year. Uh, great. Yes, and that yes. is a huge thing and we're really excited about that. So we're working on getting that together and going also. Yeah, that I know. Um, again, you had to make some financial decisions, right. but that was sorely missed too. Very much so. And we have, uh, some new picnic areas, the canopy's there, so I think it'll be really nice for people to enjoy. Good news. Yeah. Also, staffing, that was a staffing. challenge. Um, yep, we have, we're working with some groups here in town. We'll come out with a little bit more information on that soon uh, to help with that staffing issue. Um, I think that we're seeing more people coming back into the workforce and more part, really it's the part-time. We're not different than any restaurant or any place that you're stopping that's short-staffed. <laughs> We're not any different than that, you yeah. know, and uh, having that young employee is uh, an important part of our department. We usually hire anywhere from three to 400 part-time employees for the spring and summer, and they're an important part of our department. Well, we see uh, in the very distance in this photo, the uh, outdoor skating rink. It's not been used uh, lately. What do you think? Are you looking at maybe something else in that area? Eventually, yes, we do have some ideas of things that we'd like to do that we think it would be beneficial for the community. Nothing that we're really, really willing to go open about it yet because it's not a for sure plan, but uh, definitely something that we look at it all, all the time about what we could do with that space. There's several ideas. <laughs> Stay tuned. Yes, very much so. June 20th, the uh, opening date. Yeah, we're really excited about that. Spring and summer programs were pretty, we're going through the uh, spring soccer registration right now. We're actually pretty much closed. Um, we had deadline last week, and we have uh, bigger numbers than we've had in several years. So new I think record? New, uh, not a new record, but more than what we've had in wow. a few years. And you can tell that people are just really interested in getting back out and doing things. We still have uh, tickets available for the daddy-daughter dance wow. and, and all the good things coming down the line. So. How many years is this now for daddy-daughter? So I've been here... <laughs> 
Because you brought it to Jackson. Yeah, so I think maybe 25 years. I think is this your 25th year? This is either my 24th or my 25th year. I can't remember. 25 years? <laughs> of it's around there somehow. So yeah, I know, right? It's been wow. here a long time. So it's hard to believe how long and how fast it's gone. So. And this year, it's they've got a new name, the Daddy Daughter Dance. Yes. Yes. Jamie McGibbon Memorial, Daddy Daughter Dance. He, um, Jamie and I did Daddy Daughter Dances together in um, Adrian before I, I came here to the city of Jackson. And I called him and I said, Hey, do you want to do it? You know, here. And he's like, Yeah. And always, like, he would always change his schedule to make sure he could do it. Like, that was, mm -hmm. even when he got to the point where he wasn't really DJing as much, he always made sure he did the Daddy Daughter Dance. And he made it so special for everybody. Like, he really made that difference. And Andrew Sargent came up with that idea. And I was like, I couldn't see anything more fitting. Like, it just really spoke to who he was, you know. And just having all those kids and their dads dance together and activities. And it was really awesome. Great way to honor Jamie. Yeah. And yeah, you're right. He was, uh, as, as you, so closely associated with that event. Yeah, yeah, very much. And it's, it's you know, it's one of those things, like, when you have those big events and people, like the percentage of people really having a good time and enjoying their opportunity to be there, it's just really um, heartwarming and it makes you feel really good about your community. Sure does. All right, soccer, uh, softball, that's next. Yeah, so softball registration, adult softball registration is happening. We've got adult soccer registration. Check out, we got our brochures on our webpage, cityofjackson.org. We've got tons of camps and programs this summer uh, that we're really, really excited about. So. A lot of great things to do for the summer. And for you this year, your first uh, high school graduate. Yes, oh my gosh, it's crazy. Colin graduates in like less than, no, about a month. And so he's pretty excited. And then Gabe is a junior, so he'll be doing this, you know, we're a year away from doing it again. <laughs> so, um, you know, I've, I had a, a blessed time with Colin and Gabe and a really good experience with uh, Jackson Public Schools that they went through. and, and uh, Chris being able to coach them in the high school and being a part of their every day there um, has been a really a great experience for our family. Exciting weeks ahead for you. Yeah, the, for sure. Family. Yeah, exactly. Great to see you. Good news about the pool. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. You bet. She is the director of City of Jackson Parks, Recreation, Cemeteries and Grounds, Kelly Hoover. That's it. We've run.